Why is Saudi Arabia so rich? Saudi Arabia, formerly known as the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, is a country in West Asia and is the fifth largest country in Asia having a land area of about 2,150,000 km2. Saudi Arabia is under the leadership of King Salma of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is divided into 13 administrative regions which in turn are divided into numerous districts. The kingdom is currently the largest economy in the Middle East and the 17th largest in the world. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we expand your knowledge on the riches of Saudi Arabia. Why is Saudi Arabia so rich? Stay tuned to find out. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Unlike most developing countries, Saudi Arabia had a lot of capital and vast development projects which turned this undeveloped country into a developed state. Fueled by enormous revenues from oil exports, the economy of Saudi Arabia boomed during the 1970s. The economic development of this country was directed through a series of five-year plans. The first two five-year plans established most of the country's transport and communication facilities, emphasizing infrastructure. The results were impressive. Plans after these were aimed at diversifying the economy, increasing domestic food production, improving education and vocational training as well as improving the communication routes between regions of the country. The economy of Saudi Arabia is dominated by petroleum and its associated industries. Saudi Arabia is the world's second largest producer of petroleum products. Apart from petroleum, the kingdom's other resources include natural gas, iron ore, gold, manganese, silver, and copper. The kingdom has the second largest proven petroleum reserves and the fourth largest measured natural gas reserves. Saudi Arabia became a member of the World Trade Organization in 2005. The overall foreign investment environment in Saudi Arabia improved thanks to the kingdom's stable economy, massive oil reserves, better infrastructure, reinforced finance, and banking system. Saudi Arabia other than oil production is also involved in farming and agricultural production which contributes a small fraction of the country's gross domestic product. At its founding, many of the people in Saudi Arabia engaged in raising camels, sheep, and goats. Recent development plans have given special attention to the agricultural sector with the government giving out subsidies and generous incentives to the sector. The kingdom has achieved self-sufficiency in the production of wheat, eggs, and milk amongst other commodities. The initiative for Saudi Arabia's agricultural investment abroad was launched, leading to extensive billion-dollar purchases of large tracts of land around the world. Before 2009, wheat was grown using desalinated water for irrigation, but was phased out by 2016 due to costly water usage. The scarcity of water is a perennial problem in the kingdom. Another fast-growing sector in the country is real estate, supported by the introduction of real estate investment trusts. This particular sector has yet to achieve its full potential due to shortages in both residential and commercial real estate. This problem is believed to be resolved as the market becomes more mature. In 2016, the government of Saudi Arabia launched its Saudi Vision 2030 program to reduce its dependency on oil and diversify its resources as well as develop public service sectors such as health, education, infrastructure, recreation, and tourism. Regardless of this diversification, the economy of Saudi Arabia, in terms of oil reserves still ranks as the first internationally, with about one-fifth of the world's known reserves. How amazing is that? The discovery of oil in 1938 was the first to change the entire economic situation of Saudi Arabia. Although oil was discovered in 1938, a refinery was only opened in 1945 after the Second World War and the expansion of the oil industry followed to meet increasing positive demand investments. Saudi Arabia is also involved in trade with other countries such as the United States, China, and Japan. Exports consist almost entirely of petroleum and petroleum products. Saudi Arabia also imports various machinery and transport equipment, foodstuff and animals, chemicals, and chemical products. Roughly two-thirds of the government's revenues are derived from the proceeds of oil exports. The remaining revenues are raised through tariffs, licensing fees, returns from government investments, and consumption taxes. Due to all the economic activities taking place in Saudi Arabia, the kingdom has relied on large numbers of foreign laborers from other parts of the Middle East and from South Asia and America who account for roughly three-quarter of the kingdom's total workforce. Americans occupy the most highly skilled positions in the country while the unskilled and semi-skilled workers are those from the Middle East and South Asia. 
In 1952, the Saudi Arabia Monetary Agency, known as SAMA was established as the kingdom's central money and banking authority which was entrusted the power to regulate commercial banks as well as development banks and other financial institutions. SAMA, being a non-profit organization has various functions which include issuing, regulating, and stabilizing the value of the national currency which is known as the rial. The SAMA was also taxed with the responsibility of acting as a banker for the government, managing foreign reserves and other investments. The kingdom is working on creating a consolidated balance sheet of its assets and liabilities which will include items currently kept off the oil-rich economy's books including the investments, debt, and capital of the economy. In 2020, Saudi Arabia's assets swelled from $150 billion to $400 billion. Presently, Saudi Arabia has a total net worth of $1,108 billion. Saudi Arabia is therefore one of the world's largest economies and is currently at rank 17. In the long term, Saudi Arabia's gross domestic product is expected to reach $1,161 billion US dollars by the end of 2023, according to analysts. Saudi Arabia stands tall as one of the richest Arab countries in the world with its booming economic activities. Stay tuned to our channel for more thrilling facts from all countries around the world. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell for more videos. Thanks for watching.